About three years ago, a group of generals came to me, and it was explained to me they were, gonna, they were ready to conduct a coup d'etat. They were ready to move Barack Obama from office with military force. And then a few weeks later, I got another call and said that they were reconsidering. You know why they were reconsidering? No, why? Because they talked to Donald Trump. And Trump had agreed, Trump agreed that he would run. And they agreed that if he would run, they would conduct their coup d'etat as a legitimate process, re rooting out the traitors within government. And that pact between the military and Donald Trump has held. As we've been interpreting and watching, and Alex has been following QAnon, QAnon is military intelligence and close to Trump. And the intelligence we're getting really is a lot of the inside script. Now, everybody says Donald Trump is going to lose. He's going to be out of office. He's going to be impeached. You watch CNN, MSNBC, they're throwing a party today. And all the 20 people watching them across the nation are very enthused. <laughs> Donald Trump will not be removed from office. He will not be removed from office. Yeah. And in the, in the counterattack he's going to launch, one or two facts that could change everything. Get the, a report from Michael Horowitz, the inspector general, who details the corruption within the Department of Justice. Donald Trump is right. Maybe we should tear down the FBI building and start over again. And if you take a look at the depth of this corruption, it's pervasive since George H.W. Bush. The bureaucrats who have stayed, including these SES bureaucrats, who are there mostly permanently, they're globalists. They don't believe in America anymore. They think they're smarter than America, smarter than the Founding Fathers. We ought to revise the Constitution. They are, there's a very simple word that describes what they are. Traitors. Traitors. It's a capital crime. And I want to predict to you here today that when the tables turn, Donald Trump will be invoking military tribunals. And even Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are going to be facing treason charges. It will not end, and Donald Trump will have the courage to do that. Every time it looks to me, I've said this about Donald Trump, I've known him for decades. I said, Donald Trump always looks like he's going to lose until just before he wins. <laughs> always. He's always looking like he's uh, uh, one inch from being, you know, losing all his money. One inch from losing this deal or that deal. Everything Donald Trump has done in his life has been a success. And in the final game of this, I think Donald Trump will reduce the bureaucracy. I'd say 95% would be good, maybe 100%, because the bureaucracy, the bureaucracy isn't specified in the Constitution. There's no discussion. There's no article about the bureaucracy, which means it can all be removed. Fire them all. You know? And I think what we can have is a rebirth, as we say, of freedom in this country. But I want to say two or three things about Zuckerberg. Uh, someone has come forth as a Silicon Valley insider anonymous and has been writing me extensive emails, which I've now been able to validate. And the story of Zuckerberg and the others is this. Facebook, uh, all of the major ones, Twitter, YouTube, 
Google, every single one of them is a creation of the CIA. They were funded by the CIA and they were there. And by the way, they are all considered dispensable. Zuckerberg may not realize it, but he's in the ejection seat. And the button will be pushed and he'll be ejected out. But the real power in Silicon Valley is the infrastructure of the internet. It's the oracles. It's the Microsofts, the Sun, Sun Microsoft systems. These are the, the tracks, the railroad tracks on which the internet runs. The bridges, the infrastructure, and the people who are really controlling Silicon Valley are the Larry Ellisons. These are the people you know less about because they're not the front men. You know, Zuckerberg is dispensable. Eric Schmidt is dispensable. Google is dispensable. They'll just replace it with another one because the real godfathers are the Larry Ellisons and the others. And who funded Larry Ellison? The CIA, the military industrial complex, moving in with Lockheed and the others wanting the creation of a new generation of electronic hardware for the military. And the process, and that started going back into the 50s. What happened is along the way, they realized with social media, they could create something where we would all give them all of our information freely about everything about ourselves. People even post pictures of themselves naked, which they keep forever. Every click you make is going right into the intelligence agencies. And then that data is being profiled and given to the new world order, sold for money, for advertising and marketing. And by the way, Zuckerberg may have his own rules and his own, we're going to protect privacy, but they don't for a minute think that they aren't still collecting the information. They've got it all. It's archived. It's a, every phone call you've ever made, every email you've ever made. And people are stupid enough to put these devices in their homes, which can record everything they say. Facebook can track you even if you're not a member of Facebook. They can all do all the tracking anywhere you appear on the internet and that stuff is archived forever. What we've got to do is we've got to reclaim the internet. We've got to have an internet bill of rights as it were to impose first amendment, second amendment, fourth amendment. We've got to do this through Congress and I'm here to tell you that before Donald Trump is done, the internet will be 100% regulated or it will be broken up. Because Donald Trump understands the threat to our freedom. The threat to our freedom every one of us face with this information is so massive control that never occurred to George Orwell or Aldous Huxley that this could happen. But I'm here to say that in conclusion of all this, the same conclusion in you know, the, the book I've just written in Killing the Deep State, it ends, in the end, Donald Trump wins. And never forget that in the end, God wins. Yeah. Thank you.